Greetings and welcome back to Tropico 6. I'm Catherine of Sky and I absolutely love this series and we're out of the beta now. We have the full version of the game. Speaking of, thank you so very much to Calypso for giving me a key to play this game today. I am absolutely thrilled. So let's first off start with the customization options just so you are aware of our character in here. I've gone ahead and already done all of these things. But you can see our pretty um, La Presidenta here. We have chosen a female gender outfit is the Hawaiian tourist hat. The same accessory. I'm not going to make her smoke cigars. And we have glasses, hair, um, ethnic type. Makeup doesn't really seem to affect her very much. And then we sorted out the outfit to look absolutely fabulous. Um, next, we have our traits. I've gone ahead and chosen the manipulative trait. The standing gain for praising a faction in election speeches is increased by 50%. Relations uh, loss for asking a superpower for financial aid is decreased by 25%. And praising increase is uh, relations by an additional 25%. And then our palace. I have chosen this kind of a look for our palace. Why not? Um, it looks kind of... I, I like this yellow brick road and I decided to make my entire palace yellow uh, because of that. We have a fish aquarium, but I've noticed that it doesn't always show up. So I'm thinking it might be later on in some eras that it shows up but it is kind of cool and then we have these various decorations like this all right so we'll go back to the main menu and set up our first uh thing our first mission now what i've done is i have already completed the first mission called penultimo of the caribbean and that's because it was the first thing you had to do and it's the same as it was in the beta basically teaching you how to play the game so it unlocks these four mission maps which you see and then these guys they all have different things well not all different things but you need to complete three to unlock these guys one two three four five six and then the last four are unlocked when you complete six maps in the series kind of an interesting thing and i'm really looking forward to unlocking all of the rest of those things now now there are a few different islands here and I want to play them all but I think I would like to start off with this crazy looking thing called the Pirate King. Discover the secret but barren island of El Presidente's most audacious adventure. Aided by young buccaneering bibliophile Rodrigo Rodriguez and penultimo's pioneering pirate stories, he sets out raiding and looting the seven seas to turn this arid speck of land into a prosperous pirate kingdom. Arr. So this is the era where we have the colonial era and the um the world wars era mission focus pirate raids custom rules and multiple pirate coves sounds cool let's go ahead and start the mission hey groceries and shopping malls can increase your citizens food happiness hooray nice nice all right here we go Arr. <coughs> sorry president i meant to say are you well but I am reminded of your pirate days. <laughs> it all happened on Cala de Nada, an island so bereft of natural resources that the islanders had learned to eat sand. But wow. you saved them, Presidente. Your piratical genius made something from nothing. Let me take you back to a time of adventure upon the high seas. Eat sand. That is rough times, man. Wow. Governor, it is a credit to your uncompromising will that no <laughs> island is too dismal to avoid your attention. No island is too dismal to avoid your attention. <laughs> He's right. This place is horrible. But there is so little here, Governor, that we must turn to piracy. To help with recruiting, let us spread whimsical rumors of joys of the sea, honor amongst thieves, the swilling of grog, and coarsely sung sea shanties. They must not know the truth until they are safely press ganged, of course. So we need to have a pirate cove and we'll get 10 immigrants. All right, let's go ahead and pause the game here. Um, <laughs> this, the version of this game, the full version has so many nice things. Thank you devs for adding all the good stuff. The, um, the trade window has been completely redesigned. So much easier to like search for things and sort by imports and export trade partners, all kinds of stuff. This is absolutely great. 
and um, options you can customize every single thing the only one thing that i haven't found and if someone can point me in the direction of this that would be awesome there is a thing called demolish it is not the same thing as destroy select building because if i want to demolish a road I can't click on it and the, the delete thing only works on roads. So we have to do this demolish thing. If anyone knows how to fix that, let me know. But anyway, uh, so many nice quality of life improvements in the game that I've already noticed by playing that first scenario on my own. Um, anyway, we need to figure out what we're going to do here. So we're going to go and look at <laughs> the fertility of everything because at the moment we have nothing. We have no food. Uh, I don't think we even have a farm here at all. So um i want to see what we can make corn <laughs> bananas pineapples sugar cocoa no tobacco no coffee a little bit cotton no yeah this bad this real bad mm -hmm. so we could potentially put something here so that we don't die uh that would be good efficiency 45 percent or 39%, maybe we can get this up a little bit with uh, multicultural crops, but it is iffy. It's really iffy. Um, thinking we could possibly put some in here. All right, let's 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 just see what we can do here. Put in a few corn crop or few food crops and see how we can do this. All right, I have P for plantations. So let's just put one here. How many more squares? Okay, that is actually the limit of our squares. Can we put them this way? I think we can. Hey. Right. Oh, this actually works perfectly if I put this here. Okay. So right, we're gonna add wait, that was there. Yeah, I think I think we could fit this here pretty well. Uh we'll add corn here. And then let's see. With multiculture, the more different crops you are nearby, the better off you are. So let's see. That's corn. That was pineapples, right? So sugar, cocoa, tobacco, coffee. No, no, cotton. No, rubber. Rubber will do. That's fine. Rubber. And then I think we'll just do another like corn over here, maybe, unless something else is better. Pineapple is good over here. All right. And then we can add maybe. Let's see. Is there anything good on this side here? Tobacco. There's a little bit of coffee here. I think this would work. Maybe. Put that one here. Coffee. Bananas again. Sure. Actually, bananas are new. Pineapples are good, though. We can put that one maybe here. Okay. What else? Coffee. Cotton. Rubber. Eh. I don't know if it's worth having a rubber since there's one over here. Thinking about... Oh, corn is not even good over here either. No. Sadness is real. Okay, I think this might be okay there. Yeah, this is not great. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try. We're going to try this because <laughs> this could be fun. It could be good. It could be terrible, but that's okay too. We will decide. We will figure it out if we can actually survive in this scenario. But at the moment, we do have here a teamster port. We have a fisherman's wharf. We're catching some fish. Ah, oh, we do have food. Okay. We do have food after all. This is great. Um, teamster's office, construction office, bunk house, church, uh, or chapel, I should say. Some housing buildings. And then here's our dock over here. And we have a landing. We do need a teamster port, I've noticed. All right. Let's get that going because that's kind of important. Just slightly. Oh, that is a team support, is it? Yeah, it is a team support. Okay, great. And I think our people can go back and forth. I don't think they need a, um, a ferry. Let's see. Allow citizens and tourists to go into boats. Um, maybe we'll add one just in case. How about that? 
Looks like it does not need a road. Okay, that's fine. We'll just add that one there and hopefully we can get some of these crops going. If not, then it'll be interesting. All right, um, let's see what else we can do. We need to also build the pirate cove. That's kind of important. Uh, so we can get some of the things going. Now, in order to raise these um, percentages, we're going to have to trade some of the items here. So we have, let's see, corn, pineapple, rubber, pineapple, corn, coffee, bananas, pineapples, corn. Okay, just looking kind of what we can trade. Pineapples, yes. I think we had bananas as well. Let's go ahead and purchase a few trade licenses. Those are useful to have. All right, we'll leave the 10,000 one for later. And we will build our pirate cove. <clears throat> Why is this still knocking at me, I wonder? <laughs> oh, maybe because I have open trade routes. All right, that's fine. Um, at the moment, we can't do much about it. We might. I wonder if there are any minerals here. That makes me wonder. Let's go and look at mines. Wow. Okay, so all resources look like we have coal there, some gold here as well, which is nice. What is that? Ah, an ancient pyramid. Aha, could be good for tourists later, but I don't think we'll get to tourist season. We will see. Uh, not right now in any case. So let's go and make this. Show on construction screen. I love this thing. Really handy. Uh, of course, I um, chose the wrong thing there. We'll put our first one here. It seems to be kind of intended, just slightly. And, of course, connect it with a road. All right, we'll take that there. That should be okay. Um, that's our first thing to do. Let's just do it. And we might need to start building... We could build some houses over here once we have these things going. So we're going to go ahead and go at four times speed and uh, let our constructors construct all the things. Well, guys, you can do it. We're excited. Teamsters, construction people. Hello. Oh, there they go. Wow, in a wild flurry. <laughs> that was so cool. All right, we're going to change all of these to multiculture. Yep, there we go. It reduces the efficiency by 40%, um, but the farm doesn't decrease fertility over time. The plantation gets 10% efficiency for each other plantation in the vicinity. So it can be worth it to do this if you have enough like-minded plantations and they all have to be switched to uh, multiculture as well. So this one now has 18%. That's not great, but... Corruption is so rife, Governor, kay. that we have to pay a bribe to find out how much to pay. Wow. That's rough. Okay. It's nice to have choices. And trade it? routes. Yes, choices let's like go ahead and do that. That's fine. We'll extend our mandate as long as possible. Okay, guys, let's go. Keep on building, please. Our revolution is as yet only marginal. Excellent. I want a random blueprint because those are usually worth it. Okay, we got the blueprint for the fort. And that would be here. Yeah, it costs $2,000. Most of the blueprints are quite expensive. Uh, if you look at this, this one is uh, nearly 5000 2600 So it's rarely a good idea to take... This one is 1000 That's fine. But we could even just buy this blueprint if we wanted it. I think that's what we'll do. We'll just buy this. Yes. And then we'll take the money if there are no extra blueprints. Okay, let's go ahead and take this to Multiculture. All right. And what do we got here? Efficiency 15%. Oh man, is this going to suffer, isn't it? <laughs> this is going to really suffer. What if we did... Um, okay, we can get it up to 43% with the budget being very high. Uh, that may not work very well, but we'll just see. We'll just have to see. All right, let's get this one onto Multiculture. Yes. Okay, so this one has 1, 2, 3, 4... And it's only 40% efficient. Oh man, this is rough. The rough is real. No, no. Okay, this is a good thing to note also that this circle area of influence doesn't actually get this one because the house or the, um, the building isn't in range. So these guys are also not in range. This is not ideal, that's for sure. So these guys are not getting any benefit from those. Okay, multiculture. 
Yeah, I don't know if this is actually worth it, but this is 69. That's 71%. That's actually quite good. How, how high are these? 60%? 69? Maybe it actually does take it into account, even though it's not blue. But then we also have the money. Uh, we've, we're paying people more. <laughs> That's nice. Anyway, so hopefully we will make stuff. Do we have anything that can be converted into other stuff? We've got corn, pineapple, rubber, pineapple, pineapple, banana, coffee. Um, I don't think we can do canning yet, can we? No. We can only do rum, but we have no possibility of sugar anywhere. So we'll just have to wait till our pirate cove is built and then see what the thing asks us to do. We might give up farming after all. You never can tell, but it's good to be safe. It is good to be safe. All right. Hello. We now have a pirate cove. No, not a pirate coven. <laughs> sea crime and witchcraft <laughs> should never be combined. Uh-huh. It is time to fill your coffers with booty. Your scurvy dog shall rove across the seven seas, stealing pieces of eight, and be home before nine before for grog, ribaldry, and a good night's rest. Salutations, hey. governor. Nice island you have there. Maybe a tiny bit bleak, but... Nothing a few throw cushions won't cheer up. Uh-huh, yes. You'll need to choose an industry to get started on, then ship some out to us. I admit you've not much to build on, but if you export enough, we'll give you a hand. Which do you think might work best for you? Wow. Um, wow, can I... <laughs> okay, so it tells you, actually, I was thinking about this, like, we're probably going to get the resources from the uh the pirate missions this archipelago is barren and poor in natural resources to compensate for that you can send pirates on loot missions to pillage the materials for your chosen industry requires or import them via trade routes um i'm tempted to go planks but rum is always good too let's take rum i like rum okay because we know we cannot actually get any rum from this island sugar is awful what about farming i haven't even thought about doing the farming here like with um ranching i should say wow crocodile farming how nice <laughs> i hadn't seen that one before <laughs> oh my goodness that's great okay and then wood can we do um logging camps a little bit i don't know if there's the this situation where we can actually build uh replenish the trees yet this is slightly dangerous looking so well go away them. person to the ends, just <sighs> me. But for independence, <laughs> this is so fun any sacrifice is worthwhile all right we will build a tavern except uh but yeah this is kind of cool that there's this thing here um these are going okay going okay too bad all right we need to have our crown trade route um wow rum we'll take the rum for now sign contract we want to get it so that it's more than five percent like 20 percent. we want to move toward that okay let's build our tavern here it's in the entertainment thing let's see i will put this maybe here seems like a good place ask overview your infinite wisdom aha sure that's fine don't really need this chosen industry we have chosen that great we have all the things now to keep on going here all right let me build we should build the rum um distillery around here because this is where our dock is so there's less travel for people to have to deal with uh put it here maybe Okay, let's just build one for now and see if we can get stuff going. All right, so how are we doing? We're selling some fish. That's great. All right, guys. So we need to send our pirates on missions. Let's go ahead and start this thing here then. Uh, we'll go to the pirate cove. We need to loot coconuts, sugar, wool. That sounds good. Um, rescue, educated, rescue any. I always like to do the heists too. For especially the Registan of Samarkand, that is awesome. You all children automatically gain a high school education. Um, that's really good. So let's go ahead and get the coconuts, sugar, and wool. Okay. And do a lot of them. Good. 
All right, and over time we get raid points, and when we get the amount of raid points required, then we can send another um, uh, a mission off. So let me see how many... Can we build more of these right now? Let's see. Where are they? I know it must be here somewhere. Unless it's not open to us yet. Right. Building is unique. Okay. They're going to give it later, I guess. Okay. Let's just have them hopefully build these nice things for us. We might want to get the library going as well. Just to start generating research points. Uh, right. Right. Media and Education Library. I will put this somewhere where it doesn't really matter. Wow, oh, okay. <laughs> That's not ideal. No. Let's put this here, maybe. Oh gosh, that completely blocks the road, though. Hmm. Alright, here we'll do, I suppose. Let's see if we can go up this way. No! Aha! There we go! That's exactly what I wanted. Nice! Okay, let's get going. Let's go the um, high priority on the rum Shivering of timbers. Uh, the manufactory of there. The ha! <laughs> library! Look at this. Governor, the muse is with me today. Excellent. I have decided to become a writer of fake pirate stories. Horror, it's a pirate life for... Well, anyone foolish enough to believe them. Please, build me a library to store my literature. I anticipate having crafted at least a dozen ripping yarns by lunchtime. All right, let's go ahead and build that. Mm-hmm, it's right there. Yay. All right, guys, let's go. Come on, builders. Come on, peeps. We can do this. And here, I think I would like to build some Viva housing. La revolution! Together, Governor Ju, let's and see. the people will turn everything around. We might want to get revolutionary immigrants instead of can i look at the almanac real quick no of course not let's get our blueprint almanac 44 homeless citizens and no unemployed citizens do we have how many jobs do we have happiness people jobs taken all right we needed those 10 basically 11 vacant jobs okay I do want to build some, I think it's, which one did I call it? There is a name for these things. These buildings, what are they called? Bunkhouse B, that's right. I assigned shortcut key B to this so that we could have a couple of bunkhouses here. All right, we want these to be first library. Yes, we'll put you on high priority as well. Good, good, good. Aha, now we need to have genuine export blend. All right, we don't want to supply the local market just yet. We want to start exporting Governor, good stuff. Our pirate story library is a hit. Yay. The people have gone pirate crazy. Pirate sales are through the roof. Excellent. The plan is working perfectly. The crown's ship come and go from the island, the perfect prey for our corsairs. And the ships practically crew themselves because we're convincing everyone that piracy is brave and exciting. May I introduce Yay. myself, Governor? I am Captain Rodriguez, a soldier in your service. But I have a new calling. I have been reading pirate stories. Oh, the daring do. I must be a pirate, Governor. I know nothing of those large wooden floating things or the wet expanse they live upon. But I, until I learn, I will loyally serve you from the library. They shall call me Pirata del Tierra, Scourge of Rock and Soil. Sounds great. I'm quite impressed by this. <laughs> Okay, this symbol means there's nobody working here, but a work mode approved portfolio. Okay, or well, we could support public services. Let's see. Ah, okay, we don't want to do that. Let's see, are there any upgrades yet? Not yet. Okay, that's fine. The but we do need to. Okay. As as they'd like. I oh. To saw some legs off, but it turns out it's rum they want. <laughs> Jeez. I've done some tests and they're right. Drinking makes you feel piratey. That is, if piratey means unsteady and nauseous. By the time I fell over, I was quite buccaneered. So it's rum for all, mateys. All right, so we need to activate work mode on a dead man's chest for at least one pirate cove. Okay, we will accept this. I guess that's part of the whole thing. 
that would be let's see okay let's look at our research first we'll get our advanced boat services oh, library first advanced boat services we need to pause the game whoops pause all right um penal colony i don't think we need that church fee employee of the month I will go ahead and just queue these just so we have them but otherwise i probably won't use them but we'll see okay so these are getting done let's look at trade can we trade any of these things coconuts aha i think we're making coconuts i believe so coffee we are doing rubber we have pineapple banana rum do we actually have coconuts for trade here let's find out I don't remember if we do have a coconut. Um, no, I don't think so. As I recall, we do not. Do we have one? Oh, oopsies. Let's go out here and check the overlay for coconuts. Yay. No, we don't. Of course not. <laughs> Why would we? We have nothing on this island. We're fine. Thank you. Okay. Uh, not raids. Trades. Trades, not raids. Okay, let's sign the contract for rubber and have that delivered because I think we do have a rubber plantation around here somewhere. Hopefully they will produce some stuff for us. And let's see what we got here. Um, we need to look at our raids again. And I think, what can we do? They said activate work mode on a dead man. Huh? Wow. Okay, duration of missions is decreased by 50%. Raiders have a 20% chance to die. Wow. All right, I guess we'll change that at some point. Sounds kind of rough, but let, oh, I wanted to cancel these guys. There we go. And so that when we get the next one, we will just change the work mode, I guess. Governor, the people have Hello. a request. But for safety reasons, it is a secret request. Aha, uh -huh. a secret request. All right, we're trying, so we need to do a rescue mission after this. Ah, we have finished the rubber thing. Are there any other rubber things? No, tobacco, coffee. No, I can't remember if we have coffee or cocoa. Well, you did the right thing, which Thank is you. whatever. We'll extend our mandate time. I think we need that the most. We have pineapple, coffee, coffee. It's not cocoa, it's coffee. All right, let's get our cocoa no coffee coffee fine yay okay and we need to build let's see we need to export rum these guys are waiting for sugar hello pirate people come okay raids keep on going raids executing mission taking forever oh presidente you're excellent okay he's happy about that that's great Kind of wondering if I should actually import some. We might actually want to import some sugar until we can get everything else going on. Let's see. We want to do um, consumer goods. Maybe it's raw resources that I want to look at. We want to look for sugar. Oopsie. Name. There we go. Sugar. Wow. Plus 20%. Hmm. Not enough trade licenses and we're too poor to produce one. No. Or to, I guess, pay for one, not produce one. That's kind of the wrong wording. All right, let's see what we can do here. The crown now sends then, us for an aid. John, Yay. How's the governing game? If you need help, I can always give you a hand. Or the boots. All right, yeah, let's buy a mandate extension. Sure. All right, guys, come on, come on, pirates, go there and come back. There they are. Okay, they should be almost returning now. We're waiting for them. Come on, hurry, hurry up. Yeah, this needs to be shortened. Okay, we have completed two of our things. We can now get the sugar. Huh. Let's go ahead and sign this contract. Okay. And then we want to do all trade goods. And then which ones we can export. We can do bananas uh, again. Ooh, 
Okay. I thought two of them completed. I got confused there. All right. It is fine. It is fine. Excuse me, Ellsport. Uh -huh. I need a teensy tiny favor. Right. Okay. We'll get another trown crown trown crade root. Mm hmm. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> dyslexia. Oh. All right, guys, keep on going. Here they come back. Yay! All right, we got 1,200 coconuts, 1,800 sugar, and 1,000 wool. That is quite nice. That is very nice, in fact. Do, can we do anything with the wool yet? No. Sufficient funds for that. No. All right, well, we, we can do something with it. I guess we can just um, send it off for trade. So do we have our trade route for rum? Yes, we do. All right, so we will be able to get rid of one of these soonish, I think. All right, let's go ahead and choose our dead man's chest uh, thing and then go on another raid. So they want us to do a rescue operation. I don't think I actually want to do this. Let's abandon this for now. Maybe she'll give us a different quest. Okay, that's fine. All as hammered as Yay! Nails in Excellent. All right. Getting stuff done here. Let's go ahead and go on another uh, raid quest. I, I would love for this to be a thing where you could just like click it and it would go to... I guess there are different things that you can choose, but it would be nice to go to one of them at least. <laughs> All right, let's go for this. And then again... Okay, great. Now we are going along. We're making stuff, I hope. All right, guys. Get some stuff from here, please. Yeah, here's all the coconuts and stuff. They're all all on these pallets there. Come on, deliver it, please. People, go. Teamster's office. Okay, they're getting stuff. Yay! All right, good. Oh, these are trade route log. Okay, goods and prices, active ones. All right, we have one available. Go ahead and send off the wool. It's now 20% above standard. Can we cancel that current rum one? Yeah, let's cancel this. Cancel it, yes. I hope that didn't reset our thing. <laughs> that would have been bad. Rum, yes, we'll, we will send, let's see, 900. Let's do 900 for now. And then I want to get the, we got coconuts, right? Coconuts I must and something say I'm else. Glad to be still working with you. Yes, thank you very much. Hold on. Coconuts and wool. Okay, I couldn't remember if we got cotton or wool from that. So we got our wool. So we'll sign the contract and send them. Let's go with 3,900. So we get something out of this. All right, go for it. Hopefully we can get some money out of this whole process. There we go. We have sugar and hopefully the sugar is going to get into here. Come on, guys. Transfer stuff around. Let's go. Ah, yes, our foreign aid. Yay. All right, they're working on stuff. They are working. Okay. Okay, excellent. Freighter given us 7,000 money and two immigrants. Good. Very good. They're still processing stuff in the rum distillery. Oh, yeah. Okay, we already checked on that. Are there any upgrades? Ah, yes. We need to get this upgrade so that we decrease the sugar consumption by 25%. All right. We got another raid complete. Excellent. We're getting a lot of stuff here. All right, unfortunately, that demand timed out. I've completely forgot what that was. Was that the one we canceled? I don't remember. All right, got more sugar, though. I think I want to cancel the other um, trade thing. Let's see. Do we have sugar still being brought in? Yes, let's cancel this. Root cost. Does it cost anything to cancel? No. All right, I think it's fine. Okay, great. Good, good, good. And we can also sell some corn here. Sign contract. Go. Now then, old chum, how's the governing game? Aha. If you need help, I can always give you a hand. 
or the boot. Yes, yes. Apparently we need to uh, ha, do that soon. But hopefully we can export enough stuff that we'll get money. All right, there's the money coming in. Excellent. Excellent. All right, our Good quest is completed. God, Governor. Your clip, the people mad for sea stories have declared <laughs> you pirate king. Excellent. In this new Tortuga, they call you Langostino, King Fron. <laughs> king Fron, indeed. In your honor, the pirate's code has been amended to allow you three more coves. This is unprecedented as pirates from different coves do not play well together. Also, it will cost an arm and a leg to recruit new mateys, but that is why hooks and wooden legs were invented. Oh, jeez. Wow. All right. So we might actually consider um, creating a new dock somewhere, maybe like around here uh, to get these pirate coves. This actually might be a really good place for a set of pirate coves. I don't know how much they cost. Let's find out. There they are. They're 4,000 money. $4,000. I ask myself, Governor, do the end. Complete the Just loot raid. Yeah, we'll take that one. Thank you. <laughs> it's fine. All right, they sent us money. More, Yay. Governor, more. Always. Yeah, that's fine. We'll take that too. All right, next arrival is soon. All right, guys. Give, give, please give them rum. Hurry. Oh, geez. Okay. All right, we completed another thing. What have we got going? We have wool, corn, and rum. Um, Let's do pineapples. Do either of these two. Or we could do rubber. What is the price on this? 3200 and that's 1600 Let's do rubber. By all means. You know what? We'll do a lot of rubber. Or we could do a lot of rum. Because that gives us a bigger price difference. Let's see. The one we have for rum right now is coming to an end soon. So I think we're just going to go with this. Like forever. Does it tell us how long? Total bonus, $92,000. Yeah, we'll take that. I Thanks. must say, I'm glad to be still working with you. <laughs> we'll extend the mandate time, of course. Together, go Aha. You, I, and the people will turn everything around. I think we want our immigrants, actually, now. Okay, we got our research complete for the advanced boat services. Come on, Teamsters. Are you guys getting lazy over here? We need you to pick up the rum, please. Hello. We may not have enough Teamster offices. I'm thinking they're probably busy doing stuff, but aha! They're going to the rum place. Good, good, good. Come on, take this stuff elsewhere, please? Maybe? Guys? Hello? <laughs> it's like, come on! We need more Teamsters offices, I think, though. Because we're not getting anything to the dock. Come on, guys! You're missing ships. Go. Did they drop it off? No. No, they still didn't drop it off. Come on, guys. It's going to get full. I wish we could, like, do a priority on buildings, for example. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to do loose load limit. Uh, just so we can get more, more stuff going on. We may have too many farms here that are disrupting this whole thing because... They're actually going to cause an issue where this cannot uh, produce any more stuff. Okay, 713 units. Governor, oh, jeez. Okay, that's more, fine. Governor, more. Sure. Loot raid. Yeah, okay, loot raid is fine. We really need rum to go out, guys. Oh, wait. Whoops. All right, what do we have still? We have wool, corn, and rum. And coconuts. Uh, they are kind of cheap, the coconuts. But I guess we'll just choose it because why not? Um, 5,400 seems okay for now. Well, you did the right thing. Yeah, we did the right thing. I know we did the right thing. It's fantastic. All right, pause the game. I want to make more Teamsters because this is silly now. This is getting really silly where we can't even um, get people to carry stuff anymore. So we're going to build more Teamsters. Wondering if I should get rid of some of the crops here. That might be a good idea. And just put more stuff elsewhere. Because how much sugar do we have in general? We don't seem to have a lot at the moment. 
Um, but we do have a lot of rum. All right, Teamster building. I have mine T for Teamsters. We'll put one here. And then another one. I think we'll have maybe this one here. Um, and I think another one here. That's that's how we're going to do that. Okay, good. That should be fine. Viva la revolucion! Aha! Governor Ju Ai and the people. Random blueprint, please. Opera house, hooray! <laughs> Let me check on our almanac again and see how many people we have who are ah vacant jobs is only one so we have unemployed 19 so we do not want any more immigrants great we made the right decision then that's just fine but we're gonna get more teamsters now because we need to get this rum delivered come on guys let's go and we need to build more pirate coves come on let's move it on out there we go we got people got people working now please deliver this stuff All right, proceed, please. They are just not. Aha, we got some more coconuts, sugar, and wool. Wow. Okay. Come on, folks. Please take the rum out. Please. Guys, I just built more Teamsters. Hello. Like, literally, Governor, guys. The people have a request. All right, we need to build a chapel. Exterior. That sounds pers I uh, fine. Teensy, tiny favor. Yeah, I'll do your favor for you. Just chill, dude. Chill. Come on. All right, we got our circus research complete. We might want to build a circus somewhere, because that's a nice thing to have. Wow, these guys are going all the way around here. Why are they doing that? Isn't the Teamsters dock on this side? Maybe not. Maybe we need a Teamsters dock on this side. I might have just slightly messed that up. Whoops. Okay, what do we got here? Coconut, corn, and rum. Uh, we could do fish. Or, no, we'll do the wool, I think. We'll do 13,000. Fine. Well, you did the right thing. Which yeah, of course I did the right thing. Pause the game. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. So, we're, we, I forgot. Apparently, what are these? Who are these guys? These are freighters. Okay. So these are going to the Teamsters port, and I feel like this is probably the issue we might be having here. I didn't quite notice them before, but hopefully we can get this organized. Oh dear, really? Can I take this one off? Let's... Aha, refit it into a Teamster port. Aha, that works well. Let's go ahead. Uh, I don't want to quick build it right now. I want to get more of these pirate coves going on. That's kind of important. Let's get pirate coves. There we go. I think. Or should we put them here? We'll have them here, maybe. Pirate cove. We'll have one there. And then we need another one maybe here. Aha! There we go. That's looking good. We need to connect these guys. Okay, we need to demolish this road. This is a weird thing about the rows, is you can't go one tile. You can go two tiles, but not one, which is kind of silly, but that's how it works. Um, okay, can I delete this? There we go. Nicey, nicey. It's gonna re reduce our corn plantation a bit, um, but should be okay. All right, and with that, I think this is probably a good time to finish this episode and see how we got on in the next one. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.